I chose to major in engineering because, well, in general, I like to tinker. Coming in, I, I knew that there were projects and there was project-based ideas, like classes that you would have to do projects in. But I never thought I would be working on something as complex as a solder reflow oven. So it's, it's challenging and it's, it's a fun challenge though. One thing that really stood out to me is in our intro to engineering design, we get a lot of hands-on experience in that one of our final projects is building a solar water heater. It's very hands-on. We work in groups and we have to design from the floor up, create our bill of materials, buy our materials, put it together, test it, refine our design, and then actually submit a final design. That's actually one of the good parts about the engineering major in Hanover is you get to learn hands-on what to do. And a lot of our assignments are very independent, more self study focused, which helps promote that level of self-learning and independence that you're expected to have in the actual workforce. Having the hands-on experience really teaches you that there's a really large difference between what you learn in the classroom with theory and what's actually applied out in the engineering world. I worked in industry for 30 years before coming to Hanover College. My electrical engineering colleague Tim Brooks worked in industry for 30 years before coming to Hanover College. Not only did we work as engineers, but we also then managed engineers. So that meant we also hired engineers. So we know what industry is looking for in a new engineer. You're able to go into a company and say, well, look, I know how to do this in the field. So let me show you how I can get there. You know, so it's, it's really helpful finding, finding even a job. One of the reasons why Hanover started this program was that local industry was very interested in having more engineers and they said that they would offer internships to our students. And then outside of our area, our students are also getting uh, a lot of interest. Um, so I, I'm sitting right in front of a Cummins engine. One of our students had a summer internship at Cummins uh, just before his senior year. And uh, as soon as he finished that, they offered him a permanent position. And so at, uh, upon graduating from here, he went to work as a test engineer at Cummins. Professor Brooks, who has a bunch of industry experience, was telling me about One Scientific, and he was telling me about what they do here and a problem that they were having, and suggested that I look into it as part of my senior thesis. So uh, using Professor Brooks, I linked up with them and we had a great discussion and that's how we got it off the floor. Basically what they're trying to do here is have steam go and interact with a catalyst and then have that catalyst split the steam into hydrogen and oxygen. Part of my thesis is trying to figure out why subjecting that entire process to a magnetic field makes it more efficient and also more effective. One of the benefits of being a part of a small liberal arts college is that you get very small class sizes and very good interaction with your professors so that you get opportunities like this popping up. You're going to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with a professor and they want everyone to succeed. Going with the whole liberal arts aspect, you get to take a lot of different classes and then some classes will actually give you insight into some stuff that you can apply engineering wise. You don't just have to be an engineer here. You can follow your passions in athletics or in music and art and also be an engineering student here because we have the flexibility to change when you take an exam or when you have to do a lab. So it's just little things like that for a liberal arts major that you can actually benefit from in an engineering program. We know what is important outside of engineering. And the most important distinguisher that will dictate your success as an engineer, it's written communication and oral communication. That's what will propel you through your career. And that's what liberal arts colleges excel at, is helping you hone those communication skills. That is, to me, as big a differentiator uh, as anything that you will find um, coming to Hanover College.